Yo, what's going on, guys? My answer to get my Xbox again. King Wars, it can get a flying look through a back with another video. What's going on, my peoples? So, this right here is this video is where it's talking about pretty much the the first opening scene of the new of the new Avatar Netflix live action series. Now, I'm curious. Now, this the scene. Oops. This the scene I heard pretty much that they said, like, this is going to be like different. Like it's this it's gonna be like a very intense action scene from what I heard. Somebody told me that. And I, I'm curious to see like I don't know. I'm curious how that's gonna turn out. It, it, it's mind blowing. Now is it for the right right reason? I mean we'll, we'll that's what we're gonna have to find out and see. Uh once we get to that point. But uh I'm definitely looking forward to see how this is gonna turn out for sure, man. I'm definitely excited. Uh we hope this actually turns out pretty good. So I'm definitely gonna curious like what this opening scene is gonna be about. I mean, I hope it, I hope it's I hope it's good stuff. So all we do is kind of hope and see. My chameleon just ate a freaking roach, so <laughs> he must be hungry. But um, yeah, guys, so we're gonna check. We'll get into this video right here, and uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see this opening scene. Something, my man. Let's check it out. So with Netflix's Avatar live action adaptation being only a few days away, critics and content creators have been invited to the premiere event as well as sent out screeners to review the show ahead of its release. Thanks to this, we have a good idea of how exactly the show will be starting, and while it's incredibly different Shout to the original Avatar, animated Avatar, series, Avatar, I don't think it'll be in a bad way. Avatar, Instead, I think this will add a Avatar, lot of depth to the lore of the Netflix Southie adaptations Brothers. world, and make the story of Aang's disappearance and training feel much, much more impactful. So, according to some of the people who have seen it, the reviews, the breakdowns, all of that, the show starts off with the Fire Nation under Sozin's rule attacking the Air Temple. But this isn't just a quick scene of combat, instead it's a gruesome and heavy sequence which shows the complete annihilation of the air nomads. Oh wow, so that, so that scene after another. is it's actually going to be dark, an action scene, show, bruh? But it's also physically dark as well, because the attack... That scene's actually going to be an action scene, bro. Really? Because like, remember in the show, they never showed it. And just pulled up over there and everybody was wiped out by the Fire Nation. So they're actually going to make that an action scene? I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, like I said, that's one of the things that they said. I said that, like, add your own spin on to it. Like, yeah, but I, I guess that's just adding their own flavor and their own spin. I'm curious, though, if that's why one of the creators left. Because of, like, they probably had a disagreement. That was probably one thing to disagree with. Like, yo, man, it wasn't done. Like in the show. I don't think we should do it. So I'm curious, like, if this is one of the things that, like, you know, the creators are like, uh, I don't know. So, I'm curious, man. Next I'm place curious how Michael, with Sozin's more men about taking this. advantage of the darkness to burn their enemies. Eventually, there's a huge clash as the Air Nomads realize what's happening and rush to defend themselves, but they simply don't stand a chance, and one after another, they all fall. We don't know many more details than this from the reviewers, but we can piece something know, together I, from I the teasers like, and know, the leaks that we've gotten previously. That, we know that there's at least one scene of Monk Yatso fighting off multiple Fire Nation soldiers with a staff, and we additionally see a dedicated close-up of Fire Lord Sozin preparing himself for an attack. It could be the case that they've written Monk Yatso's death to be at the hands of Sozin himself during this huge onslaught, meaning that in an epic one-on-one -on -one battle he gets defeated after already having dealt with multiple foes. I don't know about you guys, but that would make things absolutely crazy if Sozin himself was the one to deal the final killing blow to Monkey Yatso. This would make Monkey Yatso even cooler than he already is, but it would also give us a look at the that's, insane that's, strength that's that's Sozin's comment gives I, I the Firebenders to see how in live action done. far before the because adaptation that reaches that show. point we never in the story got, never in the seen how they actually Honestly, went this out. concept by itself so, is incredible. But that I one shot sort of in the trailer is also very fascinating to me. We see tons of Fire Nation soldiers and Air Nomads clashing, attacks going all over the place, and it's only a matter of time before all of the Air Nomads we see are turned into corpses. During the leaks, we saw an interesting display of children and female Air Nomads wandering around the set, although we don't know exactly when these scenes are set. Many fans speculate that this is a flashback where Aang will be hanging around with his peers before they ostracize him for being the Avatar. This is definitely not outside of the realm of possibility, but Netflix may also want to take things in a much more mature and dark direction. Much like George Lucas did in Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, what if they're going to show us true, what actually true, happens to true, the young Air Nomads who struggle to true defend facts, themselves? We all know the youngling scene in Star Wars, and if that happens in Avatar, well, 
we're going to be in for something very, very dark. It's hard to imagine, and it will without doubt be brutal, but what if we now, see I'm kidding, because, like, camera, Avatar is not really, like, a dark show, for real, for real. Like, like, the OG series, OG series is not, it's not really a dark show, so the fact group, that they're, and they're and see them face off going to take that approach, the that's definitely of Susan's goal to end the Avatar cycle. Given that Netflix hasn't yet greenlit a second or third season, a lot is riding on the first being an absolute smash hit. So going with an emotional turn. So when you start, it's supposed to be start off the gates off pretty strong for what, so many what it sounds like. Love with the series, this joint will be starting off hot and boy. This joint will be starting off pretty, pretty lit. Especially lit interesting to think about today since the newest sure, teaser bro. sent out on the Netflix Avatar Twitter account is all about the Fire Nation's domination over the rest of the world and to complete their goal of capturing the Avatar. It opens with Fire Lord Ozai looking impeccable in his palace with bro, fire all around bro, him. Bro, the actor for Fire Lord Ozai, bro, yo, he looks awesome. He looks really awesome. Of peace. We then see Zuko leading his battleship, stressing the importance of the mission that they will prove themselves worthy or die trying. This really highlights the nature of the Fire Nation. They claim to want peace, but in reality, all they seek is destruction and they use violent means to obtain that goal. Only through betraying his father and assisting Aang can Zuko ever hope to reach the honor and redemption that he seeks, bringing the reign of the Fire Nation to an end and allowing all of the nations to live in harmony together, which is exactly what happened after Ozai's bending was removed and his dictatorship was brought to a close. Of course, in the animated series. That mm -hmm. could all be changed yep, in exactly. Netflix's live-action Avatar. We just don't know. And those seasons aren't even greenlit yet. So this is a very exciting piece of information which is bound to get many of you hyped. Regardless of what the rest of the show may contain, this is a fascinating concept and would kick off a massive emotional pull which would make us all fall in love with the adorable and innocent child that is the Avatar. Or it'll make us deep and darkly sad. And it'll make us eager to this see is gonna be, this, is, this show's gonna be different. Peace. But let me know what you think Just hearing all below. this, Leave a like, they're taking risks. And do all that stuff if you want. And I like that. That's something that One Piece didn't like even do. The live action of One Piece didn't even take guys. risks. See you I'm happy they're taking video. risks. They're taking a chance. They're taking a huge chance. And I can respect that. I respect that highly. Shout out to Avatar, Avatar Star. Um, but yeah, that's his name. There we go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's going to be freaking... I, I can't wait to see how that's going to turn out, guys. That's going to be really exciting. Uh, it's different. They're taking a chance and they're taking, they're taking a risk. I'm definitely going to see how that's going to play in episode one. And I pray that's going to be the opening scene of the show. So I'm definitely looking forward to it, see how it's going to turn out. So keep your eyes poked out for that, John, bro. I might actually upload a discussion tomorrow. Uh... You know, like a one-on-one -on -one type of deal. Uh, just kind of talking about Avatar. So we'll see tomorrow. Um, we'll see if I have time to make it. But we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for the love and support. I got one more video dropping. To, uh, I got one more video dropping today. So keep a lookout for that. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye, Z! Yeah, sir.